Hello everyone and welcome back to a slightly different video today. I thought I would show you the junk journal that I've been working in. So I made this maybe last year, um, just out of an old recycled book, added a couple of little pockets and some journaling in there and I wanted this to be a book um, that I could journal in about the 2020, so the year of lockdown, um, made a little bit of a title page and I've sewn quite a lot of signatures into this, I probably will go back um, and take some out maybe but I've just started obviously the year, you can see little pockets and pullouts and tuck spots and I've also like just journaled everyday life, things that happened like going the circus which was really fun and then it gets into later on in the year where we obviously went into lockdown so um, this was just before lockdown we went to the Mia, had a lovely meal, a little date night and then obviously I got sick, uh, the, the guidelines were that you should stay home um, and self isolate so working from home everything we bought, the Queen's speech, um, and then obviously just killing time really while we were locked down. And then there was the headlines on the other page of when obviously Prince Charles, who's now King Charles, um, got sick, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister was sick and it just become a little crazy. So the next pages were just more around like things we did to keep ourselves occupied, <laughs> some selfies, <laughs> which there was a lot of because there was nothing else to do. But we managed to keep ourselves quite um, occupied we went for a couple of like dates to fast food places and when they started to open up again and just sat by the river and had a little um eat of our tea there and then the uh, we had the 75th anniversary of the i think it was v-day and then ryan's lodge came and then this is the page that i'm going to work on today so this is where i got up to and it's where we launched like a little small business um fame candle co which would eventually become handmade by fame um so the first page there i had started where it was just obviously the countdown um me making wax melts and making candles with a nice little glass of prosecco <laughs> and then i was just gonna put a little bit of lace on this page to add a little bit of interest on there i wanted to put that lace as a trim but i think i end up using it on the next page so i just glued down that little bit of fabric i have invested in some what's it called fabri tech is it fab fabri tack i've seen a couple of um junk journalers use fabri tack so and i must admit it, it is a lifesaver because i was using this pva glue i think i use mod podge as well and it was just a nightmare so I end up struggling with this a little bit but yeah Fabri-Tac I think is the way to go I've got that for future pages so once I've stuck that down I was just trying to make some of the ephemera work I've got a huge box of ephemera that I'm trying to use up so I found that little make tag and then this was off a birthday present that my friend gave me and um, so I added this little tag onto the next page and I had a nightmare trying to glue down that little bit of a stringy um attachment i was going to put some washi tape on there but i just wanted to keep it glued in as much as i could but the pva was struggling like i said i think fabric tech will make it just life a little easier so then i think i have a little look through my stash i've got a lot of little sticky pads that i bought off um aliexpress i think and amazon so i had a little look through that oh i think i'd do the date first yeah and it's nice to put the date in i like to look back and remember certain times through the year that i've done certain things so this is me pulling out the maggie holmes sticker book and i've also got the heidi swap sticker book too these have been great um i've found i've used these so much there's like 30 pages of different ephemera stickers um, and they're great for just these little spots where I just want to add a little bit of interest and a little enamel dot also. Still struggling trying to stick that down with the PVA glue. And then I have a little look through and I think I've got a picture that I want to use here. This is the one. So this is me and my husband Ryan. We'd had a couple of drinks in the garden and we were getting really bored with lockdown. It felt like lockdown had gone on forever. And we found these face paints we forgot we had. So we recreated Joe Exotic and Carol Baskin. If no one has watched Tiger King, check it out. It was really funny. Um, so we face painted and had a few more lines. And I was just going to journal. Obviously that lockdown has been really long and we were a bit bored. And we found these face paints. And it was just the way to ent entertain ourselves while we were in lockdown. Which I think we did successfully. And now obviously lockdown is eased. 
I don't think anyone wants to go back to normal life. I think we're all happy in our homes. So yeah, I pop a little bit of a, um, a label back and on the back so it doesn't stick to the other page. And then I wanted to journal a little bit about when we went to M&S food. Everything was an adventure in lockdown. So even just going food shopping was great. And I used a little love sticker from the Maggie Home sticker sheet with a nice little um, glittery heart. Again, trying to make that lace trim work, but I think I'll use it later on. And I just journal about Ryan finding this on offer and him wanting to um, grab the Easter egg on offer um, from m and And I wanted to do a little bit of secret journaling just to talk about sort of how I'm finding lockdown at that point. And obviously we were just coming out of lockdown and it was just becoming a little tedious. But then, as I said, as the second lockdown rolled around, I think we'd all got the hang of it a little bit. So that was just a little bit of secret journaling. Pop a little bit of washi tape on to get rid of that. A blank space and then I eventually do use this lace for the um, end of the page and I've found a lot of people when they're doing some junk journal on YouTubes do this which just makes the page look a little more, more interesting and when your journal's closed I like the look of the lace on there and a little bit of ribbon to just make it look a little bit fancy. I had these three pictures I wanted to use of the garden um, and I was embroidering and having some wine in the garden and then found this flower seeds news clippings which came in a bundle from Amazon and were great so I'm just using a bit of Tim Holtz tea stain I think it's called to um, ink the edges and I wanted to keep that flower seeds right at the top so I've just um, placed the images around that and this is one of those sticker books from Amazon which is great to fill little spots where there might be a little bit of blank um, edging that I just want to get rid of a bit of washi tape always does the trick and then I think I put another um, sticker in that other little white spot on the core, on the um, edge of the right there. And just them sticker books are brilliant just to add a little bit of something to the page. I think I'll pick some more of them up. And the flower ones are brilliant, especially for pages like this. And that's the end of it. So thanks for joining today. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.